A puppy has a name, a breed, and a whole lot of cuteness. To model a class that just holds data, should use a data class. The compiler simplifies your work by auto-generating toString equals and hash code and providing the structuring and copy functionality out of the box, letting you focus on the data you need to represent, the puppy. In this video, I'll tell you more about other advantages of data classes, their restrictions, and we'll take a look under the hood at how they're implemented. If you learn something new, like the video and subscribe to the channel, but only if you think we've earned it. To declare a data class, use the data modifier and specify the properties of the class as val or var parameters in the constructor. As with any other class, you can provide default arguments, you can directly access and modify properties, and define functions inside your class. But you can get several advantages over regular classes. So first, toString equals and hash code are implemented for you by the Kotlin compiler, removing the need to remember to update them every time you add or update your properties. Second advantage, destructuring. Third advantage, ease of copying by calling the copy method. Data classes come with a series of restrictions. So data classes were created as a data holder. And because this is enforced, you have to pass at least one parameter to the primary constructor. And the parameters need to be val or var properties. Trying to add a parameter without val or var leads to a compile error. As a best practice, consider using vowels instead of vars to promote immutability. Otherwise, subtle issues can appear. For example, when using data classes as keys for hash map objects, as the container can get in an invalid state when the var value changes. Trying to add a var r parameter in the primary constructor leads to a compile error as well. So var arg is not allowed due to how equals works on the JVM for arrays and collections. Andrei Breslov explains, collections are compared structurally, while arrays are not. Equals for them simply resorts to referential equality. This equals other. Data classes can inherit from interfaces, abstract classes, and classes, but cannot inherit from other data classes. Data classes can't be marked as open. For example, adding open will result in an error. Modifier open is incompatible with data. Let's check what exactly does Kotlin generate to be able to understand how some of these features are possible. So to do this, we'll look at the Java decompile code. So tools, Kotlin, show Kotlin bytecode, and then press the decompile button. Like with a regular class, puppy is a public final class containing the properties we defined and the getters and setters for that. The constructor we define is generated. Then because we use the default argument in the constructor, then we get the second synthetic constructor as well. Um, to find out more about default arguments and the generated code, check out our Kotlin vocabulary video. Then Kotlin generates the toString hash code and equals method. When you modify the data class updating properties, the right method implementations are generated for you automatically. Like this, you know that hash code and equals will never be out of sync. While toString and hash code are quite straightforward and look similar to the way you'd implement it, equals uses intrinsics are equal that performs a structural equality. By using a method call rather than direct implementation, the Kotlin language developers get more flexibility as they can change the implementation of R equal in future language versions if needed. To enable the structuring, data classes generate component and methods that just return a field. The component number follows the order of the constructor parameters. Find out more about the structuring from our Kotlin vocabulary video. Data classes generate a copy method that can be used to create a new instance of the object, keeping zero or more of the original values. You can think of copy as a method that gets all fields of the data class as parameters, with the values of fields as default values. Knowing this, you won't be surprised that Kotlin generates two copy methods, copy and copy default. The latter is a synthetic method that ensures that when a value isn't passed in for a parameter, then the right value is used from the base class. 
data classes are one of the most used Kotlin features and for good reason. They decrease the boilerplate code you need to write, enable features like destructuring and copying an object, and let you focus on what matters, your app. Thanks for watching and go write better Android apps with Kotlin.